Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV and I've got Juan Francisco Estrada. Okay, we're standing right here. You are headlining a triple header. How excited are you? How important is this fight? Eh, bueno, ya es mi tercera pelea en Superfly 3, de hecho, eh, muy contento por esta gran oportunidad que me brindan, eh, muy contento porque pues, los pesos chicos estamos avanzando aquí en, en, en los Estados Unidos y pues una gran oportunidad que debo aprovechar. I'm very happy for the opportunity, you know, it's the third time on a Superfly event. Uh, the weight classes, our weight classes are beginning to get some notoriety here in uh, in the uh, United States. So I'm just happy to have that opportunity to be one of those guys that showcasing his talents. Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV and I've got Gallito Felipe Orcuta. I just showed you your picture. Triple header, you're fighting Juan Francisco Estrada. El Gallo, how excited are you for this fight September 8th? Bueno, pues, es mi sueño esta, esta, esta pelea. Eh, enfrentar a un gran peleador como El Gallo Estrada. Eh, en una pelea tan importante eh, y en Estados Unidos creo que es lo que venía soñando, deseando desde hace mucho tiempo y pues, se me concedió. It's like a dream come true, you know, big fight against a great champion, great venue, uh, the United States. Um, what more can you ask for? You know, we're here at Azteca Boxing Club where the famous Cesar Chavez Sr. would do his media days and you're doing it here. How do you feel to be in the presence? You see all the pictures in the front of all the, all some, some famous boxers to box here. How do you feel to be here to do your media day for Superfly 3? Did you know? <laughs> bueno, para mí es, es un orgullo, ¿no? Eh, Julio Cesar Chavez puede ser el ídolo de México de, de todos los tiempos y... Y pues yo creo que mi carrera empieza, ¿no? Empieza, tengo 28 años y pues yo creo que tengo mucho que dar, no me comparo con él, él es un grande, pero pues yo creo que tengo mucho que dar todavía y pues aquí lo vamos a demostrar en estas peleas. Yeah, I'm very proud to be here, you know, he's our idol, you know, he's the greatest Mexican fighter ever and obviously I'm just uh, happy to be here where he's been and, uh, you know, I'm far away from where he, where he, where he is, I'm not even close to that, but I'm only 28. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, careers still to go, so we'll see where we end up. Well, you two are familiar with each other. You're familiar with him from Azteca, uh, tourna Azteca Tournament. What do you know about him in the ring? Bueno, pues, es un gran peleador. Es un peleador con muchas cualidades. Eh, no por nada ya fue campeón del mundo y, y es un peleador muy, muy completo. La verdad, a mí se me hace un peleador muy completo. Pues sé que tengo una pelea muy difícil, muy dura contra él. Eh, pero precisamente por eso me preparé a conciencia, eh, hice una gran preparación con mi equipo de trabajo y, y nos preparamos para ganar. You know, I know him very well, he's a very complete fighter, uh, one of the best fighters out there, I believe, and that's why I train so hard, that's why I get so ready with my team, because I know it's a very difficult fight. Okay, well, you know, September 8th, you're going into battle with a fellow, with a fellow Mexican, a fellow mm -hmm. warrior, Felipe Orocuta. He is taller, he has a longer reach. Have you been training? Have you, been, have you had sparring partners? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about those challenges? Sí, conocemos a Orocuta desde hace mucho. De hecho, salimos de un torneo de Campeona Azteca de la misma manera y yo creo que es un peleador fuerte. Yo no me confié, entrené muy duro y pues es un peleador más alto, es un peleador fuerte. Pero vengo muy bien entrenado y vengo con la motivación de ganar. Hice sparring con, con, con chavos altos y pues yo creo que eso, eso es lo, lo que hicimos en la preparación. ¿no? You know, I know him very well. We were both in the tournament for TV Azteca. So I seen him a lot. I know what he can do. I know what I'm, I can do. And of course I come ready. You know, I train really hard because I know what I'm up against. I know it's a tough fight for me. And I know he is a little taller. I know he probably has a little reach uh, advantage, but we, all, we know that. We're, we're ready to, to combat that. How honored are you? I mean, this is Superfly 3. In your weight class, you have some of the best fighters that just go rounds. And now you're fighting on this card. It's the third series of its kind. Chocolatito, Sorungvasai, now you won uh, uh, Cuadras. You gave Cuadras a hard time. How honored are you to be fighting on this card here in the States on HBO Boxing After Dark? Bueno, primero que nada, pues me siento agradecido por la oportunidad que me han dado. Eh, HBO, la, la televisora, el promotor, Tom Lofer, eh, me siento muy agradecido y creo que es lo que necesitaba el boxeo, que, que se fijaran en, en los pesos chicos, que creo que es donde también hay mucho talento. 
se ha visto, se ha demostrado y espero que sigan apoyando a los pesos chicos. You know, I'm very grateful for the opportunity uh, with HBO, Tom Loeffler, everyone that's made this possible. Uh, the little guys can fight, and I think now people are seeing it, uh, and I'm very proud to be part of it. How do, how do you feel his name is Gallito and yours is El Gallo? Los apodos. Bueno, pues aquí ahora sí que vamos a ver quién es el más gallo de México. Now we're going to find out who's the real guy in Mexico. <laughs> okay, and now you know the, the question that it's going to come up, you're going to know. So, Rung Fasai, you want that rematch. How, how bad do you want that rematch? Bastante. Yo creo que es una pelea que se tiene que dar, ya sea ahora en Super Mosca o Gallo, porque pues hoy hay rumores que parece que va a subir a Gallo, pero de hecho estuve entrenando en la altura, estuve entrenando muy fuerte para esa revancha. Estando allá me dijeron que no va contra él, que va contra Rokute, pues yo me quedé entrenando en la altura, pero pues yo esperaba esa pelea, ¿no? You know, I went up to the mountains to get ready for him, for Rungas. I was sure I was going to fight him next. Uh, then when I was up there, they told me not, I wasn't going to fight him. They gave Orokuta the fight. So I stayed up there, got ready, and uh, I hope that he stays at 115, but I hear he might be go going up to 118. So, you know, I have to be ready. If he goes to 118, I have to follow him because I won that rematch. How about Chocolatito? Pues igual, vamos a esperar esa revancha, mucha gente la pide esa pelea y yo creo que va a ser una pelea eh, de choque, eh, una pelea que se tiene que dar, mucha gente la quiere y pues igual yo también la voy a buscar. You know, it's one of those fights that not only I wanted, but the fans, everyone talks about that fight, everyone wants to see me fight him because of our styles, you know, it's going to be a great war whenever we fight each other, so I, you know, if it happens, it'll be great for me. Oh, good, well you guys... Tune into this fight September 8th. It's Superfly 3. You know, tell your fans, Ring TV fans, all of your fans all around the world, they're going to be able to watch this on HBO Boxing After Dark and also the live stream on 360 Promotions. Why should they tune in to watch you fight? Eh, bueno, antes que nada, invitarlos este 8 de septiembre a ver la pelea contra Gaito Rokuta. Eh, va a ser una pelea muy emocionante y pues ojalá que no se la pierdan. Vamos a dar lo mejor de mí para, para ir por el título del mundo. Uh, I hope that they watch it, you know, it's a very good fight. I think people will enjoy it. I want to invite everyone to see it and uh, come to the forum because uh, it's going to be a great fight. All right, and lasting um, fighting words to Orokuta, a message? Bueno, ojalá que venga bien entrenado para hacer una gran pelea para toda la gente y pues, suerte. You know, I just hope he comes ready to fight because I'm ready and I hope uh, the fans will win because if we're both at our best, then you know it's going to be a great fight. Good. Well, you know, you're going into war, fellow Mexican, fellow Mexican warrior, September 8th at the Fabulous Forum, Superfly 3. Tell your fans, Ring TV fans, and all your fans back home in Mexico and all around the world that's going to be watching you to headline this card because you want to win. What do they expect to see of you that night? Bueno, pues, mucha acción, mucha... Muchos golpes, eh, una pelea llena de, de, de drama porque pues, va, a, va a ser una pelea muy dura, una, una guerra entre dos mexicanos y pues venimos listos para esta guerra. You know, just the fans, I invite the fans because this is going to be a great fight. Two Mexicans going at it, warriors, war. I mean, we're just going to go at it and everybody knows that and I think uh, the, you're going to see a lot of punches thrown in there, a lot of action, a lot of drama, so make sure you watch this fight. Almost like a telenovela. <laughs> Action, drama. Well, you guys, you know what? If you haven't seen Gallito fight, you're going to find out what he's like, how he's in the ring against El Gallo Juan Francisco Estrada. We have Felipe Orcuto, or Cuta, excuse me. Good luck to you, September 8th. Remember, guys, tickets are still available at the Fabulous Forum, Superfly 3. Woo! Yes, you know, I love good fights. And you know what? This guy puts on a good show. Tune in September 8th. HBO Boxing After Dark, Superfly 3. You know what? This is going to be a fun, fun card. Like I always say, this weight class loves to punch. The punch stats are extremely, extremely high. Good luck to you. September 8th, make sure you guys tune in. Juan Francisco Estrada, El Gallo. All right, guys, I'm Cindy Aconte for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.